welcome to Mike's Man Cave and today we will take another look at the Vortex. Now this is the original small Vortex that I've got here and I've had that for about a year and a half or around 70 weeks. Now I do get on a few of the barbecue forums and Facebook pages and I constantly see people posting about making a Vortex or trying to copy one or using a stainless steel bowl or some other device to make a vortex. Now personally I think all these practices are a complete waste of time and here is my reasoning behind it and some of the observations that I've made. Now let's work out the cost. This vortex has cost $36. That is the current retail price for the small vortex the one that you're looking at here. Now I've had this for 70 weeks and I've roughly used it once a week. So that works out to around 50 cents each time I used it. Now that is less than the charcoal that I've used to put in it. If you have a look at this one, it is in absolutely perfect condition and pretty much exactly how I bought it. If you keep that going, like this thing will still be good for another 10 years. And now we'll go into some of the reasons why I recommend not making your own vortex. I'm a handy sort of person, I can make most things and I could easily make one of these out of a stainless steel bowl if I really wanted to. But the time it takes to find the correct stainless steel bowl, get a grinder, cut the bottom out of it, mess around, I can just buy one and be done with it. I will have the right top and bottom opening, the right ratio, the right size and I have a product that is known to work correctly. Now let's have a look at some of the things I've seen on forums where people are actually putting their health at risk. I have seen people make these out of galvanised steel buckets. I don't know if people realise but once you heat galvanised metal it gives off poisonous gas. It will actually poison whatever you're grilling and whoever's eating it will be getting gal poisoning. So there's a great saving for you. Use a galvanized steel bucket. Now other people are using stainless steel. Now I've seen these made that look like a rat has been chewing on the end with jagged sharp edges that are just a danger to anyone that even handles the homemade vortex. And then there's the extreme case where another bloke slipped with a grinder and just about cut one of his fingers off trying to make a vortex. Well, I bet that was worth saving $36. If you agree or disagree, please leave a comment down below. And for those people that have not seen the vortex in action, here it is. I'm about to make dinner and I'm about to make some chicken wings. You might be able to see on the video the outside glowing red. And seriously people, for a few cents I would not bother making one of these. These just work so well. They've got the right gauge material, they've got the correct shape, and they just work. Thanks for watching, please give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.